Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I welcome all of you for this 27th Ordinary Sunday. There was a young man named Stalin. After his studies, he was searching for the job. He went to several companies and he did not get any good job. Therefore, he started hating life. One day it so happened, he was talking to his friend in a park. While they were talking, he just looked at the tree in the park. And the tree was without any leaves since it was a summer season. Then, by looking at that tree, Stalin said, Oh, my dear tree, your life and my life both are same. We both of us are useless for this society now, he said. Then his friend who was with him, he said, Stalin, why are you telling like this? Only today you are looking at this tree like this. You come and see after one or two weeks. In another two, three days, there is going to be a, a summer rain. Then you will see new leaves coming up in this tree. And these uh, words of his friend was going inside Stalin's mind. Then as he said, there was a rain after a few days. And after one or two weeks, he came to that same park and he looked at the tree. And the tree started giving new leaves. By looking at that tree with the new leaves, Stalin felt the inner happiness. And that inner happiness gave him another hope for his life. Once again, he started searching job. And he finally got a good job and started having faith in life and God. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today we all of us are called to grow in faith. The liturgy of the word invites all of us to have faith. In the gospel reading, the disciples are asking to Jesus increase our faith. And Jesus is inviting his disciples to have faith. And most of us are having this faith. We all of us are having faith in God, faith in life. Then, why not? We are not able to achieve in our life. Because our faith is not having certain qualities. In the Old Testament, in Genesis chapter 21, from verses 2 onwards we see, God is asking Abraham to offer his only son. And Abraham, out of his faith, he was ready to sacrifice his son. Therefore, he took his son and he was ready to offer. Here, we need to notice Abraham had faith. But along with faith, he had the quality of sacrifice. For the sake of his faith, he was able to sacrifice his son. And this aspect, this quality of sacrifice should be there in our faith. Most of us, we have faith and our faith is not having the quality of sacrifice. Secondly, our faith should have the quality of perseverance. In Gospels, we see, Matthew Gospel, in chapter 15, we see from verse 21 onwards, the story of Canaanite women who was coming to Jesus and asking to heal her daughter. And Jesus was silent when she asked first. And she was asking repeatedly. The woman, without any gap, she was going on asking Jesus, perseverance in faith. There was perseverance in faith. This quality of perseverance is very much needed in our life. Most of us, we have faith, but there is no perseverance in faith. Our faith is for few hours. Our faith is for 
few days our faith is for a few weeks when we are sad when we get a big temptation when we are suffering where is our faith we will be able to achieve in our life only when we have this quality of perseverance in our faith and thirdly our faith should be complete and full we need to grow in our faith for which we should have a, a complete faith not our faith our faith should not be in just words our faith should not be in our actions alone alone but it should be in our life in matthew gospel chapter 9 we see 12 years there was a woman who was suffering out of hemorrhage she had faith in jesus just if i touch the fringe of his cloak enough i will be able to receive the power of jesus and i will heal that was a faith and that was a full and complete faith the faith that came from our heart it was not a faith with just words it was not a faith with just an action she was able to completely offer herself for the faith and she finally she caught the fruit of it my dear brothers and sisters our faith also should be deep let us take the example of centurion just if you say your word enough my son will be healed he said that was a faith that was complete and deep faith full faith that should be there in our faith Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, in our life, we all of us are having faith, but our faith should have these qualities of sacrifice, perseverance, and our faith should be full, complete, and deep enough. Therefore, we will be able to achieve our life. And let us show this faith on our life. In all our undertakings, in all our goals, we need to have this faith then only we will be able to achieve in our life and let us show the same faith which we have in god which we have in our life also on our family members most of the time we are failing to believe our own children we are failing to believe our wife our husband our parents my dear brothers and sisters let us have faith let us believe our family members we are believing on money we are believing on other people and we are not believing with whom we are living let us try to grow in faith because that is the base for the entire humanity and for us christians faith in god faith in our life faith in on our family members are the essential factors to live as a full faithful christians and this is the invitation that we all of us receive from today's liturgy of the word therefore let us half ourselves completely before god so that we may grow in a complete and full deep faith with the qualities of sacrifice and perseverance may god bless you Thank you.